it's that time again. Another British Empire uh, campaign turn. Uh, we're on, I believe, episode 11. This is? But that's besides the point. Uh, what do I have for you today? I've got uh, an engagement with a lot of torpedo boats against uh, a fair amount of cruisers and a pair of battleships. All right, we're loaded up. Here's the numbers. Uh, they got four heavy cruisers, two light cruisers, two destroyers, and 48 torpedo boats. I believe this is the first set of destroyers we've seen, if not the second. I don't honestly remember. But yeah, uh, we're bringing two battleships of... Oh crap, I forget what class it is. Uh, ten heavy cruisers, eleven light cruisers, and one torpedo boat. I really should build more torpedo boats, but I've been honestly, like, I, I built the torpedo boats at the start of the campaign as a stopgap to kind of just absorb some hits. <laughs> Don't tell the torpedo boat crews that. Oh yeah, by the way, you were cannon fodder the entire frickin' time. Oh, you had not enough crew, you suck. Okay. We're gonna drop this to thirty. We're gonna we're we're gonna try to not die. Ooh. Our time acceleration dropped down. They're to the south, so we're gonna start going that way. We're gonna keep um these cruisers on that uh southeastern vector the light cruisers and we'll, we'll split this screen of, he of uh, heavy cruisers as well okay we'll bring those back in I heard gunfire somewhere. We got spots. No, I want group of four. Okay. First contact torpedo boats on our southern flank. They ran into our uh, light cruiser here. What are we looking at for weather conditions? I, I generally forget to check it, but it doesn't look too bad. Minus 10%. Minus 12? Yeah, we're on a minus 10 total. Okay, we can see off in the distance here. We've got uh, cruiser smoke. Speaking of which, we're going to pop that on our own cruisers. And we're going to start to angle them away slightly. Put them on full speed. Jump back to our battleships here and we're going to turn them into attack. We've got our heavy cruisers already kind of vectored in there. These ones are going to go for a long flank. These guys are going to go for a really long flank. I'm going to send these guys to support the other light cruisers. And this screen that I broke off earlier. Okay, that was not good. He took quite a bit of damage. What kind of torpedoes are we doing with here? 15 inch. Ooh. Yeah, that, that packs a punch, my friends. Enough to do almost, what, 37% damage? Curl our flanking force in a bit. We'll drop you. We're gonna try to save the uh, that ship from getting swarmed by torpedoes. I'm not liking it. It's got an engine down and they're closing in real quick. 
You got lots of destroyers too, which I don't like. 800 tons, 35 knots. Ooh, that's fast. Look at that freaking drift. Okay, we're starting to we're we're starting to knock him out. This guy's probably gonna bite it. Which is unfortunate. Alright. Time to fully turn in here. Continue that line. Somebody took a torpedo hit. It was a heavy cruiser. He's nice and armored, so not not a terrible outcome. I want, yeah, I want you guys. We're gonna turn you that way on that side. We're gonna come on in on the outside flank. Make some distance. We're probably gonna take a torpedo here. Or not. Nope, there's the torpedo launch. He's got like four. And that's gonna be an ammo detonation. Yeah, that's that's a that's a that's a good day for them. Ooh, we suffered another ammo detonation. I don't like this. I don't like where this is going. Oh, they just... They're, they're gonna hit this. Those freaking torpedo boats, man. Oh, damn. So they put down... A, they put down a battleship. With... with relatively little effort. Not gonna lie, a little disappointing. I'm gonna pull these cruisers in because I'm scared they're gonna get enveloped. That's that. You can you can come back, you know. It's okay. Let's see if we can get the uh, the Royal Oak out of danger at least. Oh, it is not happy. We're gonna go down to two times speed. be looking at here. Get him to hit the Orion. We can use a battleship to kind of cut these guys off. And then he'll be able to meet up with those light cruisers and push into these uh, this area here.
while these heavy cruisers just try to survive. And they still got 11 clicks to go. Oh my. And that's why you try to pay attention. Yeah, it was probably not that good of an idea to... Oh, okay, he has no ammo, we're good. I was going to say, it was probably not a good idea to drive by a torpedo boat, because it was just going to turn and slap you with a torpedo, but nope. Ooh, another hit on the Duke, Duke of Edinburgh. Those torpedo boats just got turned into Swiss cheese. One. Are we gonna go for two? Let's go for two. Let's go for three. Come on, three here. One more hit. Yeah, uh, there goes the cruiser. Let's go for three. Yeah, that's gonna be three. Our turn circle on these guys 444. We're gonna see if we can stop these uh, torpedo boats in their tracks before they hit us. Bring it down. Bring him down, bring him down. Oh, that's gonna suck. That's gonna suck. That's gonna be at least one. Maybe we'll get lucky. Nope. Not lucky enough. But at least it was a light cruiser and not a heavy cruiser. You can come back now. That'd be great. We'll also drop that to uh, there. Oh, they weren't able to turn in time to save the uh, torpedo boat. That's unfortunate. them at the back of the group and kind of come in and clean up you guys can finish that off are these the single mines yeah they're the single mines there goes another one
hit that. You don't seem to really care. You're still floating. Even though you can't move. That's fine. I hate it when they do that. AI suck. Right. Well, that's a little disappointing, but it happens, so we're just gonna deal with it. Let's see if we can take out that threat. And you're gonna turn as hard as you possibly can. Because you need to get out of the way. You might get hit. You might get lucky. In fact, our are, are, is this real? Is this gonna happen? No. It freaking was a dud. Nice. Let's hope this one doesn't hit that cruiser. Probably start turning back normal. I'm gonna let them chase that, and then these cruisers should be in almost in range of that guy. They're all gonna hit that. And then we're gonna turn in and hit that with the uh, cruisers. And we'll clean this up. So yeah, those destroyers are dangerous. But I have something in the works for them. So I'm not too worried. At least until we get them. Alright. I'm going to close in for the kill. How are you guys doing? Okay, there goes that one. And these poor torpedo boats are about to get shelled with literally everything. I was hoping he'd get a little further there. I think that's it. Yup. Ooh. They came out with only slightly fewer points. And they took one of our battleships, which is not fun. Oh well. Alright, a little update on the strategic situation after our battle there. Uh, we've got, we still have this fleet deployed to the Eastern Mediterranean doing work. We're projecting close to 22,000 22, power. Okay, yeah, I'll take that. Um, English Channel firmly under our control. And the North Sea also firmly under our control. We're projecting about 43,000 power. If you can see, we have 14 battleships deployed to it. Uh, when you compare that to the Germans, too, uh, we definitely dominate this area. And then we don't have anything deployed in the Baltic Sea just yet, but things are coming. So we'll, we'll, we'll finally uh, finish that stranglehold. If you'd like to see more, uh, don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the bell. And uh, you can always expect more Ultimate Admiral on this channel. See you guys next time.